the Palmetto State Dagger. Let's check it out. Probably one of the most anticipated firearms of 2020 was the Palmetto State Dagger. And seven months ago it was introduced, but for some reason uh, there was something that they found that they decided to wait and hold off on shipping any of these firearms. Now again, seven months later, uh, the Dagger's here. And it's really great to see because I have been really excited to get one of these finally. Uh, one of the big things about the Dagger though is that it's a Gen 3 Glock clone. Pretty much. I mean, it's you, all the parts are interchangeable, but there are some really nice upgrades to this firearm. And we're going to take a look at that, of course, during the review, which I typically don't mention price, but here it's super important. And it's the reason why when the dagger was first introduced, it crashed the Palmetto State Armory website. And these are coming in at $299. That's right, $2.99. And so that's one of the reasons why this has been one of the most anticipated firearms that it was introduced supposedly in 2020, but now here in 2021. We have something good that's going on in 2021. Now we really appreciate Palmetto State for sending the dagger for this test and evaluation. Uh, we're gonna be looking at all the features. We are gonna be looking at the pros over the Glock 19. And then we're also gonna be looking at some cons because I want you guys to be well prepared in case you purchase this firearm, especially if you're using it for self-defense. Palmetto State Dagger. Uh, this is actually the first one that I've even seen, uh, except online. Uh, first one I've had in my hand. And I'll tell you guys, it's a Glock 19 clone. It's a Gen 3, pretty much. There's a lot of uh, similarities. Of course, complete parts compatibility, which definitely is a plus. But there are some upgrades to this, honestly. And for the price, I mean, it's gonna be hard to pass up. So let's go ahead and drop our magazine. Uh, they do include a 15 round PMAG from Magpul, and the chamber is empty. Uh, and of course, this is compatible with all your standard Glock magazines. So that's a big plus as well. A black nitride finish on the slide. And I'm gonna tell you guys, it, it's really well done. I mean, just really well done. I, I really like these cuts. It gives it a little bit of a, um, you know, some styling. You have front and rear cocking serrations. Kind of comes down at the front. Makes it a little easier to pull in and out of holsters. The muzzle has some cut downs as well. Uh, it's not rounded off like the Glock. It's more square on the front. A steel, stainless steel uh, guide rod, which is honestly an upgrade from the polymer guide rod that's in your Glock. The barrel is 3.9 inches and it is also stainless with a black nitride finish on it. The sights are steel. Uh, it's three dot, but they are steel sights and they are compatible with your Glock pistols. And so those are really big upgrades just in themselves. Uh, secondly, the grip. Now I am, honestly, you put this in your hand, I am a fan. Uh, it's not as blocky. Now, guys, I'm a Glock guy, so before, you know, some of you guys go, man, you're cutting on Glock. No, I've been shooting Glocks since they came out. But this grip is so ergonomic. Uh, it's actually rounded off. There are some palm swells in here. So when you put your hand here, it feels your palm on one side. And then, of course, you know, on the other side, you're not going to necessarily feel it. So it just seems to nestle in your hand. Uh, it has the hump. There are no interchangeable back straps, but I really like this laser etch texturing. Not aggressive, not super aggressive, but it does its job. And that is to make it just very secure in your hand. Gives you a lot of confidence. And so for carry, that's going to be a big plus. And of course, it's on the front strap with one 
little finger groove. Comes down to a point right here to where it seems to ride right there under your pinky. Now, if you have larger hands, that may be an issue because sometimes guys with big hands, you know, then it's hanging off here. But that's just what it is. For me, I love it. Uh, they have it high undercut here on the trigger guard, which is a big plus, especially with Glocks. Uh, and then they have this cutout right here on the trigger guard. Just a little bit different uh, if you happen to like to fire it with your finger around the trigger guard, which I don't. I like both thumbs forward. Uh, you got your standard Glock rail with the one slot. Serial number in the frame. It does have more of the Smith & Wesson style trigger uh, with the pivot here. And of course you have your blade safety. And no external frame safety, which I like. Uh, very minimal slide stop. And your takedown levers, which obviously are very familiar with the Glock. A little bit of a different cut in the frame. In fact, the frame is just really, uh, it's almost like a custom frame on a Glock. Uh, you see a lot of these done. You can send it off and have it done. Uh, but it does have these high cuts right here in the grip. And that allows for excellent manipulation drills, especially if you have some kind of malfunction. You can strip that magazine easily. With the Magpul base pad, it's a little bit thicker. It sticks out just a little bit more than your standard Glock. And for the mag release, I like this cutout right here, uh, which is not on your standard Glock. Now I want to bring out my Glock 19 Gen 3. Uh, this one has had a couple of upgrades, uh, mainly the Wheaton Arms flat face trigger, which is phenomenal. Uh, and it's I actually undercut this one because I didn't want to get that Glock knuckle. And then the sights have been upgraded to night sights. Um, and so that's those are just some upgrades. But overall, this is just a Gen 3. And this one actually has one of the Magpul PMAG Glock mags in here. But you can see that the slide is much more blocky on the regular Glock. Now, you don't have those rounded off. It's more like a cut than, you know, just being rounded off. Uh, and I think that's the way it is through this whole thing. It gives it a little of a crisp look to it, more than the modular Glock look. You can see on the front there. Um, a little bit of smoothing the edges out with the dagger. It's more straight lines, but um, it gives it a little less at the front of the gun. And of course, you have your polymer guide rod in your Glock 19. But honestly, overall, guys, it's pretty much the same size, same pistol. Again, all the parts are interchangeable. Now with the grip, I mean, it's definitely a big difference. This thickness on the sides here makes this honestly feel really thick in your hand. And again, I've been shooting Glocks for years and years, and I'm accustomed to it. I've invested probably 100,000 rounds through a Glock 19. Uh, but I really like th this feel. And I highly recommend, if you happen to have one of these available, is to test it next to your Glock. I mean, it, it really makes a big difference. And also on the Glock Gen 3, we have two finger grooves uh, as compared to the one finger groove on the dagger. And of course, with the Gen 5s, we have more of a smooth finish here. We have back straps to make it really thin. So that's a whole different ball game. I'm a big fan of the Gen 5 Glocks. Uh, it really, to me, makes the Glock just that much more ergonomic. And of course, there were a lot of other changes. But there's a lot of fans of the Glock Gen 3. And uh, this is actually one that I've had for a number of years. And I just love them, especially right now at about half the price. You know, you're coming in with this dagger. It's going to be hard to beat. Now, you still have the name of the Glock, the re reputation, the reliability and all that stuff. So I'm not saying take your Glock 19 and trade it in for a dagger. But I'm just saying the dagger has really come in uh, at a wonderful price. And especially if you don't own a Glock 19, this would be a great one to start out with. As you can see the grip a little less of a hump than your Glock 19, so that's been shaved down a little bit. And really the beaver tail area right here is pretty much the same, which gives you a really high ride bore axis. I mean, you can really get up on the pistol and this allows for more flatter shooting. Uh, beside the crowned barrel, you'll notice that that's crowned so it's gonna help preserve accuracy because that can really affect your accuracy. But also look how tight this fits. I mean, it is locked in there. There's just a teeny bit of movement if I go in one direction. And that says a lot about a polymer frame with a steel slide. With the Glock 19, you've got a lot of play right there. And that's the way it is with a lot of them. And that's not necessarily a huge con. It's just the way it is. But I'm just saying that this is actually a tighter fit. Here at the rear of the slide, you're getting a little bit of play right here. With the Glock 19, 
you're getting about the same play. It actually may be a little tighter with the Glock. And I've always said, guys, that if I only had one handgun, it would be the Glock 19. I still stand by that. I mean, it can be concealed carried. It's not necessarily a Micro 9, but it definitely is concealable. And then also, it's great if you need to go full on for a go-to pistol. Home defense, self-defense, whatever. And so I think that the Glock 19 is just fantastic. Uh, the dagger, to me, is coming in right there with it. And the great thing is, we take our Glock 19 holster... And the dagger just fits right in it. So if you're already a Glock 19 guy, you have holsters and everything else, they will work with the dagger. On the Sensible Prepper channel a couple of years ago, we did a video on the ultimate survival SHTF pistol. And it was the Glock. And the reason why is because of all the how simple it is to break down, how easy it is to replace parts. I mean, it's just a very simple yet very effective firearm. And it can go through hell and back. And so I think that that's one thing about the dagger is you have that same design going on, same ease of disassembly, same ease of parts replacement. You can upgrade these to whatever you want to. And so uh, I think that gives these a lot of advantages. What would I carry in an SHTF situation? <laughs> I'd carry the Glock 19 hands down because it's proven. But we'll see about the dagger. But I think this is actually going to be up to par. Comes to weight on the PSA dagger. One pound, seven ounces. Glock 19 Gen 3. One pound, seven ounces. Now let's check out the trigger, and definitely a different type trigger. Uh, this gun has been safety checked, and so we have a lot of take up at the beginning. I'm just going to tell you what, there's just a lot of take up. It's fairly smooth. Uh, then we have a little bit of stacking right here, and then we have a nice break. I mean, it's a good tactile audible break. It's not very crisp. It's very similar to the Glock. Now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to check reset right there. Really quick reset. A little bit of stacking again, and then it breaks. So, you know, the trigger is not a phenomenal trigger. In fact, it's mediocre at best. But again, you're paying $299. You can replace the trigger. There's a hundred different ones out there. But honestly, as far as shooting goes, uh, you know, most people are going to be fine with this trigger. Unless you're a real trigger snob, and I've become that myself. But I shot my standard Glock 19 again for 30 years without putting a, any kind of aftermarket trigger in it. And it was fine. We're going to check our trigger pull weight with our Lyman trigger gauge from Brown Ales. 5 pounds, 11.3 ounces. 5 pounds, 15.6 ounces. Guys, I just want to give you a really good look at this slide. I mean, I am, I am impressed. I am. It's just got a really nice finish to it. I love black nitride anyway because it gives it just such a beautiful look. But uh, they've done a really good job on this slide. And again, on the frame. I mean, it's just a very nice looking pistol. Uh, you know, some of the custom Glock 19s that I've had and have, this stands up to most of them, and yet for a fraction of the price. Now, some of you are going to wonder about that because price does not necessarily dictate quality. They sell direct to the consumer, and that way they cut out all the middlemen, and that's the reason why these prices are as low as they are. Now, there are a couple of other models in the works. One is a optics-ready version with suppressor height sights, uh, and that's going to be the sub-400 price range. Uh, also, they're developing one that has a 1911 grip angle, and so those should be coming out pretty soon. But uh, one big thing about Palmetto State Armory is they do have a lifetime warranty. And that is really great. It uh, gives you a lot of confidence when you're paying $2.99 for an incredible pistol. And we appreciate Fiocchi for sponsoring the ammo, all made here in the USA. One of the largest manufacturers of ammunition in the country. So, And also Lula Loaders for saving our thumbs. We're also going to be using some standard Glock mags as well. All right, guys, we took the dagger down to the range. And, um, you know, I did the entire review without going to the range. And so I didn't know what to expect. We just pulled it right out of the box. I shot it as is. There was some lube on it, so I wasn't really concerned. Uh, first thing we did was shot, you know, 15 rounds through it. Just wanted to see how it was functioning, kind of a slow fire, getting some feel for the grip. Uh, guys, I am a huge fan of this grip. 
Uh, it is really well engineered. From what I heard from PSA, they tried a number of different grips. They were passing them around the office. They wanted everybody to kind of check it out. And I think they hit the sweet spot. It's got a great feel to it. It's not too small, and yet it feels like you've really got the pistol in your hand, especially when even shooting rapid fire. Uh, as far as the function of the gun, you know, it was shooting like a Glock. I felt like I was shooting a Glock, except for the grip. To me, it's a, it's a marriage made in heaven because the Glock grip, again, is not the best. Um, as far as malfunctions, zero. Zero malfunctions. We shot 500 rounds. Zero malfunctions. I didn't know. I didn't know because I knew this had gone back to the drawing board already. Uh, but it just fed flawlessly. The trigger, uh, yeah, definitely a little bit of you know grit there. But when you're shooting it, I'm so used to shooting Glocks, I really didn't notice it that much. And unless I consciously thought about it, which I did, because I just wanted to see how that would affect things. I know a lot of you guys are really into your triggers, which I understand. Uh, but, you know, you may find this to be a little bit heavy, gritty, long take up. Uh, but honestly, it shot well. Now, I didn't show the dagger with a standard Glock magazine. You can see how it fits. It's got a smaller base plate, which personally I like. When you put in the uh, Magpul P-Mag, you know, it just hangs out a little bit, but functioned very well. When it came to accuracy, again, didn't know. A lot of times when they have new pistols like this, accuracy can be all over the place. But I was impressed. Guys, as far as I'm concerned, if it's anything like this dagger uh, at $299, uh, this is the best deal of the year, period. Now when it comes to disassembly, we're gonna drop our magazine, check to make sure the gun is unloaded. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is, is pull the trigger. I'm gonna pull back about an eighth of an inch and pull down on our takedown tabs. Push the slide forward. Uh, again, you have a full steel recoil spring. And that has the flat coils, which seems to aid in recoil. Uh, and then we have our barrel, very similar to the Glock barrel. And this again is a stainless steel barrel with a black nitride finish. It's 3.9 inches in length. As far as the interior, it's beautiful. I mean, it's that black nitride finish really shows it off. Uh, there's oil on here. And, uh, and again, guys, we haven't even shot this yet. We're going to take this out to the range and test it out. Uh, and then we have the frame. Locking block is in black instead of the steel or the, the steel color. Back here, a little bit of different color, but otherwise, again, all the parts are interchangeable with your Gen 3. I mean, not your Gen 4 or Gen 5, uh, but rails look good. Again, guys, just, you know, very similar to the Glock. So you need to do the field strip to reassemble. Drop in your barrel, recoil spring, and guide rod. Bring it over your slide if you can get the rails. And we're good to go. Standard box, uh, then open it up. We have some closed foam padding that's laser cut. Uh, looks like we may have an addition uh, to you know, the line, which I wouldn't be surprised. Again, this is a compact version. Uh, of course, it comes with the magazine just like this. Here at the top, we have a sticker, and uh, we also have our owner's manual. One thing I will say about the owner's manual, I'm not gonna open it up, but it does have a maintenance section that shows you diagrams. So really an excellent owner's manual, which I typically don't even talk about. And I'm sure there's a lock somewhere. I've probably already thrown it in the junk drawer. Well, there it is at the bottom. So you get a lock. When it comes to pros and cons, I really wanted to bring out the Glock 19 because I think it's very comparable. Uh, one of the big things about the dagger is the DLC coating. I love that. Uh, and it's really a hard finish. I love that it's stainless steel and that the barrel is stainless steel as well. Metal sights, definitely a big plus. Metal guide rod, another big plus. Trigger is, eh, I think the Glock trigger actually is a little better. Uh, but again, you can change this out. I changed out my Glock trigger for a Wheaton Arms again, so you can see where I, what my feelings are. Uh, as far as the grip, I think that the dagger has it beat. I mean, it is an excellent grip. Uh, the texturing, the feel, the palm swells, uh, just the rounded off edges, which make this feel like a very ergonomic feel to it. High bore axis. Uh, with the Glock, of course, you've got a thicker, more square type grip. 
again, and as I'm putting my hand on this, I mean, it just feels natural because I've done it so much, but there's no doubt that the dagger has a better feeling grip. Now, one thing I do want you to notice, and I'm going to see if I can get it here. There is some space in between the slide and the frame. You can see right here, you can see the paper behind it, and that's the reason I brought it out. With the Glock 19, you're getting it right at the takedown lever, but pretty much otherwise, it's very little, if any. A little bit more of a tighter fit. So that's just something that I did want to point out, something that I feel like that could possibly be a con with the dagger, uh, but again, time will tell. But with the Glock, it's just a little bit tighter. As far as reliability goes with the Glock, I mean, it's world-renowned. You know, it is a, again, it is the AK-47 of the handgun world, so, uh, you know, this is definitely give you a lot of confidence. Uh, when it comes to the dagger, you know, it remains to be seen. We'll see how things go. This is a brand new offering, really, from Palmetto State. You'll be seeing the reviews coming out and seeing how it functions overall. One thing I do want to mention, guys, is when I take a gun out, typically, they just function. Uh, it's not because they've been handpicked or cherry-picked. Uh, they just function for me, and, you know, I don't know. I have, I have very few problems with guns. Your modern processes right now should produce a really reliable, accurate firearm. You know, there are people that just seem to be able to break an anvil with a feather. And, uh, you know, I don't know what to say about that. It's just a sample of one. But it's one thing that sometimes I see in the comments is people say you never say anything negative about a pistol. And, and that's not necessarily the case. Uh, I usually will talk about certain things. But honestly, overall, just don't have a lot of problems. So guys, whether you're a Glock fan or not, uh, the dagger has some features to it that to me surpass the Glock. Mainly in the, the grip. I mean, this grip is really nice. Uh, the coating on the slide is beautiful. Of course, this is stainless steel. And, you know, it just has a lot of great upgraded features over the standard Glock 19. And yet, the price is, again, what does it? I mean, again, $299. And that is from Palmetto State. And Palmetto State will be the only place that you can buy it. And, of course, here in 2021, you never know what kind of availability there is. But I would highly recommend, if you have a chance, to at least get out and shoot one of these. Again, I'm a Glock fan, love Glocks, but the grip on this is, it's just fantastic. And the price is over the top. And again, we appreciate Palmetto State Armory for sending the dagger for this review. Rubber Dummies is one of the best training tools on the market. And you get a 10% discount using Suit00 when you click the link down in the description. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. your trigger pull it back about a quarter of an eighth hardcore hardcore this is hardcore <laughs> really well done in the that light something's happening there Palmetto State Armory about seven months ago and when they started the sale okay I gotta pee now uh, I pee. Uh, but we're also gonna look in case you face a self-defense situation. But even if you're not using it for self-defense, you may not even want to use it for self-defense. You may have something else, but at least when you go to the range, it works, right?